Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I am going to be talking about the Vosteed Mini Nightshade. Now, they were very happy to send me this for testing and review, and I've carried it for about three weeks, and I'm happy to say that I'm going to have a pretty good review on my hands here. But first, I have to just say a big thank you to Vosteed because they sent me a few things over um, as a holiday gift, and this is by no means everything they sent me, but they sent me a coaster with their brand logo. They also sent me a pocket notebook, which is fantastic. The, I mean, it's got a very nice, soft, soft top to it. It's like a faux leather top, and then very, very easily, um, uh, not easily, but widely spaced lines here, so you can put a lot of notes in here. And for me, I just find this very, very nice, and then it also has an elastic band that you can put your pen there for, and a book marker. But there was also this nice EDC bag they sent me with a Velcro back, so you could put this on your backpack. This could even go on a belt or on a backpack strap. I mean, really, really useful. Has a few things here where you can put some things like a flashlight, pens, knives, notebooks, whatever you want, and then a zipper pouch and a zipper pouch. I mean, really a great setup. And you can also attach it with a carabiner if you had to. So, guys at Vosti, thank you. Thank you for that. That is a fantastic gift. Now, I'm going to grab a few things from up here because I need a few knives to at least compare this one to. And I think we're set. So, this is the Vosteed Mini Nightshade. And it has this very unique leaf shaped blade. Okay, it's a downward sweeping leaf blade that is fantastic for cutting. Fantastic. I'm going to put the exact name of the blade shape down here. And this shape has a tendency of when you actually cut with it, it pulls whatever you're cutting into the blade. It pulls the material into it, very similar to a hawkbill knife or a hawkbill uh, shaped blade. And for me, I find this knife to do a very good job at all the cutting tasks that I had it do. Now, to be clear, this is not going to be a heavy duty knife. This is not something you're gonna use as a makeshift pry bar. This is kind of a light duty knife competing with a few other name brands out there that have made very nice, lightweight, small knives. Now, this steel is gonna be your 14C28N. It is stamped right there behind the thumb stud. And I have not had to sharpen this at all. At all in the time that I've used it, I haven't had to sharpen it. I've cut cardboard, I've cut zip ties, I've cut uh, paracord, and I've cut wood with it. Um, not heavy duty wood, but you know, you've got to do a little bit of whittling. It does that just fine. And I've cut a few pastries with it, tomatoes, whatever, and it does a great job. All I've done so far is just strop it and that's it. Just proper care. It's held up fantastic. Very, very well done steel on this knife. Now this has a axis style lock, okay? The patent is out, so you're able to have that on many other knives. And I find this to be a very fidget friendly knife. Trust me, I've had my wife tell me already a couple times to put this thing away because I just keep doing this. But you can, of course, pull the lock down, fly it out there. You can also, and I'm not very good at it, you can thumb flick it out there or middle finger flick it out there with no problems. I'm just not very good at doing the middle finger flick. I can just do the thumb. But for me, I find that really good and the thumb studs are removable. Now the thumb studs are made out of aluminum. They're not made out of titanium. And the back spacer here is made out of anodized aluminum. Now they have a few options here. Um, they've got this black one and then they've got a gray one and I believe they have a few other colors. I'll put those over to the side here or throughout the video. So this is a very useful little knife. Now, how does it compare with a few other knives that you might see out there? Well, of course, there's the classic 
uh, Kershaw Blur. That's going to be a much bigger knife. Keep in mind, this is going to be a knife that is very small, compact. That's what they're going for. Here is a Victorinox, and you can see here already, it's about the same size as a Victorinox. Okay, guys, it's going to be that compact size. It's going to be easy to get into the pocket and easy to get out of the pocket. You can also, and I, this is a recent acquisition. This was a gift from a buddy of mine, and I forget the name of it, but here is a Spider Co. It's not a spider co i can't remember but you guys will um but it's about in the same vein as this spider co okay small compact easy to use and it's going to be something you can get out of your pocket rather quickly and then of course i can't compare it any knife without bringing out my Sabenza, and there it is compared to a full-size 31 Sabenza. So you can see it is definitely going to be a smaller knife, it's a compact knife, but it's very capable. I have found myself using this more and more every day, and it just is fantastic. Now one of the things I wish it had is just a little bit more grip. Um, it has these slick G10 scales, which are comfortable you can get a good grip on them okay and you can get all four fingers on there uh, you can't choke up anywhere on this really but you can get all four of your fingers up here and there's a little bit of jumping on the handle spine here but nothing here this is a crowned spine okay rolled smooth your fingers gonna slip all over this okay especially if you've got wet hands or you're working outside and it might be a little damp um, other than that, I've found this a real joy, and the real big issue, the only real big issue I've had on the knife was the pocket clip, okay? So the pocket clip is great. It's got these recessed screws, okay? It's nice and flush. Um, it would be nice if that was recessed into the handle, but I get it. It'd be kind of an eyesore on this side if that was the case, but it's very thin, okay? And you can see there it's kind of bent up. That is primarily due to it getting caught on things, um, getting bent out of shape, and you can see that it it does bend rather easily. And then you've also got a pretty big lip on this side. So honestly, if Vosteed could go another route and maybe do a titanium clip or even just a milled steel clip or maybe even just a wire clip on this so it can go recessed into the handle. I don't know, but uh, th this clip's not really doing it for me. Also in the hand, it's, I'm not gonna say it's a hot spot, but you know it's there, okay? Um, I have used this knife without the clip, and I have to say it's a significantly more comfortable knife without a clip. Most of the time I found myself kind of throwing this into a sheath or some kind of pouch and carrying it that way versus having it on there after that happened. But for the review, I put the clip back on and I wanted to just report that. Now, other than that, all the hardware is relatively standard. It's all going to be T6s and I believe this is a T7. I believe it was a T7 when I checked it. Um, but everything else is going to be a T6. Okay, so it's relatively small. Um, really wish everything was just T8s, but I know we can't always have that, especially on a small knife like this. Now, all in all, what are we looking at? We're looking at a really good knife here, guys. This is very nice, very compact. You've got a great setup here. And did I mention this is running on bearings? It is, and the bearings are captive in bronze washers okay so it's a very good knife and it is very well built so what do you get with it though okay so you get of course a little brochure here guidelines um, a few things that they want to say about the company and then you get your box and in the box you get this fantastic pouch that you can add other patches to and they send you a bunch of little goodies and they also include extra springs. I mean, that's a pretty big deal for me, I think. You don't have to really call them if anything breaks. You've got those spares. And for me, I've never had an Omega spring really break on me. So that is everything you get with the knife. And all in all, I think this is a fantastic 
little blade, especially for how much they're selling it for. So if you're willing to go out and get this knife, I think it's a great one to get, but you could also go for the full size version. I actually prefer the mini primarily because of how easily it is to throw in the pocket, have it in, in, at the ready and use it. And believe it or not, this blade is very capable given how it's shaped. It's very, very useful, and very, very good. So thank you guys again. Till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.